Secret Grandpa. <laughs> Welcome back. We are here in the studio with Zach Lampla, Reader's Digest sports columnist. We're going to talk about the Giants' offensive line and what went wrong this year. Zach, help us out. The New York Giants were just spread too thin this year, Brian. They have 11 players that they count on, and what they need is two guys. Two guys, fundamentals. You know, a strong quarterback, strong receiver. No, Every- no, Brian, you're not listening to what I'm talking about. I had graphics department mock up the exact strategy I'm talking about here. Let's let's go to those. Okay, the Giants have an 11-man offensive strategy this year, but what they need to set them apart is an offensive team of two players, preferably 11, maybe 12 feet tall. I'm talking about drafted a couple of real freak shows here. Uh, by the way, I want to thank Newcastle for sponsoring this segment of the show. Brian, are you drinking a beer right now? Look, Brian, here's an ordinary line of scrimmage, and here's a line of scrimmage with a couple of monsters on the other end of it. Now, as soon as the center hikes the ball, he is going to run directly into the opposing team's defensive line. He's going to grab the first guy he can get his hands on and rip his head clean off of his body. As soon as he drops that corpse, he is right there within arm's reach of his next victim. If you could imagine maybe a Kodiak bear getting into a fist fight with a 12-year-old boy, that is the kind of devastation that this defense is going to feel. Meanwhile, you got a huge mobile quarterback who's going to take that football and run past this whole mess right into the end zone and literally into the stands where this senseless carnage will continue. His thirst for touchdowns satisfied while his bloodlust remains unsated. Men, women, children, no one will be spared. Each victim's last expression deflected off of his callous, featureless face. Any connection to humanity Well, it sounds now like you're gone. placing a lot of blame on the players. I think it's time to start talking about the coaching staff. What decisions need to be made there? Uh, absolutely, Brian. The coaching staff at the New York Giants needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. First thing about new coach, new coach is going to be 12 foot tall. And new coach isn't just 12 foot tall, new coach is also 12 foot wide, and new coach is going to be 12 foot deep. And new coach is always smoking a cigar, he's got a little smokestack up top, and new coach doesn't have regular little legs like you and me. He's got big rolly tank legs roll up and down the field, and new coach has a chair on top, lets you ride him around the field. Basically, new coach is a tractor. And that's how you're going to get traction down the field, Brian, with a New York Giants coach as a tractor. Well, if that don't beat all... Hold on, Zach. Is that you on the coach? Uh, That's not me on the coach. I I hadn't done these. I thought we had our graphics department design this. Did you design these yourself? Uh, No, no, that's not me at all. That's not what we had done. All right, that's our time. Next topic, Kansas City Royals. What are they going to do next year? Well, Brian, the Kansas City Royals need to make sure that the runner keeps the bat. 